Okay, right. Well, welcome to the first lesson on Unit 5 of the uh, ICT IGCSE. Um, very short, simple lesson, I hope, this one. Okay, it's about different types of software. Now, these are all software types that we have used and will use to complete this course, and you are familiar with all of these. Uh, the reason we look at this in detail is because it's basic stuff and it's important, but also in your exam, for your unit six exam, when you're using the software and it says you must do this task, it won't say, for example, it might want you to do a spreadsheet, but it won't say you must use Excel to create the spreadsheet because you might not be using Excel. Yeah, this exam is given to students all around the world and different schools use different types uh, we use different software products to do software, to do spreadsheet work. So another school might be using uh, Google Sheets, for example. Um, other schools might have the Apple version. So that's why we need to know the names of these categories. So when it comes to the exam, you don't freeze up and think a software, uh, you know, a spreadsheet software, what's that? And you don't know. Whereas if they just said use Excel, you'd be like, ah, oh, okay. Right, so we need to know the, the names, the different categories. It's very easy, um, so we're going to go through it. So what you need to do for this lesson, start off with your usual title uh, page where you've got a couple of uh, activities there for you to do. And you can see in the image here, these are the Microsoft uh, Office software products that you probably have used at some point. Um, so I want to just take a moment to think, what types of software do you use most, either at school or at home? Uh, what do you use them for? And why do you use that specific piece of software? Um, for example, if you were going to edit photographs, would you use Photoshop or would you use Word? Right, basic, you'd use Photoshop because it's a dedicated graphics program that has got more functions that allow you to better edit photographs, right? Easy stuff. So go through that, do the numeracy question, have a go at the literacy task, and then we're going to go on to the first activity, the first proper activity, and I want you to just become familiar with some of the keywords we need to use today. And they are, those keywords are found from slide seven onwards, okay? You've got four slides of keywords, eight keywords in total. You can see them there, multimedia, word processing, spreadsheets, graphics, database management, and presentation software. Uh, ah, presentation software appears twice, and web all three, okay? So they are the things we need to learn. Okay. Uh, to do that, I want you just to do very, very basic, back to basic stuff. How you're gonna learn this is you're gonna go to the resources section and look at the keywords, read each one carefully, look away and write down the definition. Now that could be on a different tab, you open up a word processor, write up your definition there, it could be a piece of paper, wherever it is, and then Write down the definitions for all those keywords, go back to the keyword and check you got them right. If you got any of them wrong, have a go again. Yeah, it's like you learn spellings when you're in primary school, yeah? It's like uh, look, cover, write, check. Very basic learning tool, very, very powerful, okay? Helps you get stuck in there, so that's what we need. Right, once you've done that, second task. Break it down into two, A and B. Hopefully both are very easy and straightforward for you. First bit, you've got your categories up here, web processor, database, graphics, web authoring, presentation, spreadsheets. And down here, we've got all the Microsoft versions of it, with the exception of Composer, which is not Microsoft. And I want you to just match them up, right? I've done the first one for you. Microsoft Word obviously goes into the word processing category, right? Database, which one of these is a database piece of software? Which one of these is a graphics? piece of software and so on, right? Once you've done that, I then want you to use your own intelligence, your own experience, you could Google it, and try and think of examples for each category, not Microsoft examples. We've done the Microsoft ones up here, so I've done the word processing one for you, right? Google Docs does word processing, Apple Pages does word processing. There's a piece of software that's free called Libra Writer that does um, word processing, and there's another piece of software called Abbey Word that does word processing. So try and find different types of database software, different types of graphics. So graphics, give you a clue, you could, I've already mentioned it, you could put in Photoshop in that one, right? But what else 
What does Apple have? What does Google have? What do Microsoft have? Okay, all these big companies have their own versions of the software, so you need to know the names of those. So if you hear that in conversation, you go into business, they might not be using, or you go to a different school, go to university, they might be using a different uh, company's products. So you need to know what they're talking about. Um, so that's nice and straightforward. And last one. Okay. Uh, in the exam, in the written exam, paper one, they do occasionally give you questions like this, where it's only worth one mark, but it's one easy mark you don't want to miss. And it will be a scenario. So for example, Ipswich Town Football Club, the greatest football club to ever grace League One, uh, are looking for a way of recording the money made each weekend, selling match day programs and drinks. And then they want to show that information in a graph. What software category should they be using? Would they use Photoshop for that? No, because that's completely inappropriate. They'd use a spreadsheet piece of software, and then the example I've given is Google Sheets. Okay, so read through the other four scenarios. What category do they need? Presentation software, maybe? And give an example of that. Okay, and that is your lesson. Okay.